Hello, welcome. I'm Dr. Grace, and today we're going to talk openly about a topic surrounded by myths and truths, the practice of reaching the male climax every day. Is it good or bad? This is one of the most common questions I get in my office and online. On one hand, you hear it's a sign of vitality. On the other, that it can lead to burnout. With so much conflicting information, it's natural to feel confused. My role here is to be your guide, bringing clarity based on science so you can understand your body without fear or taboos. Many men wonder, is this daily habit a sign of health or am I pushing it too far? Could this harm me in the long run? To answer this, we need to go beyond common sense. Today, we'll tackle this topic head on with seriousness and quality information. The truth is there's no one size fits all answer because the male body is far more complex. That's why I've prepared a thorough and balanced analysis. We'll explore the benefits that scientific studies highlight for those who maintain this frequency. And just as importantly, we'll discuss the potential issues and precautions you need to keep in mind. Stay with me because by the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge to make more informed decisions about your health and well-being, understanding the real impact of this habit on your body and mind. So, let's start by uncovering the scientifically proven benefits of a daily routine. Let's dive into our first major benefit, which I like to call the internal pharmacy of well-being. What's the first scientifically proven advantage of a daily male climax? It's the stimulation of a true cocktail of hormones that bring a natural sense of happiness and pleasure. Think about it. When a man reaches the male climax, the brain doesn't see it as just a physical event. It conducts an orchestra of neurochemicals, releasing incredibly powerful substances. And what are these substances? First, we have endorphins. They're like the body's natural painkillers. Ever felt that euphoria and relief after a good run? That's endorphins at work, and they're also released in this moment, boosting your mood. Next comes a wave of dopamine. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter of motivation and reward. It's what makes you feel something was good and worth it. That sense of mission accomplished and deep satisfaction, thank dopamine for that. Then the brain releases oxytocin, often called the love hormone or hug hormone. It's key to creating feelings of connection, trust, and promotes deep relaxation, almost like a chemical hug. And to complete this quartet, we have serotonin, our great mood regulator. It contributes to that overall sense of calm, well-being, and lasting happiness. Now, why is this chemical cascade so beneficial? Because this combination is the scientific reason why, after the big finish, many men feel profound relaxation happiness, and a huge sense of satisfaction. It's like a reset for the nervous system. So the regular release of these hormones can be an incredible tool for improving mood, reducing daily stress, and acting as a powerful natural antidote to the anxieties of modern life. The second major benefit we'll explore today is the incredible ability to reset your system for deep restorative rest. The quality of your sleep can improve in a way you might never have connected to this practice. Have you noticed how your body seems to shut down naturally after a moment of intense satisfaction? This isn't just fatigue, it's pure neurochemistry at work, and it's an extremely common and healthy response. But how does it happen? The conductor of this relaxation is a hormone called prolactin, which is released in abundance after orgasm. Prolactin's role here is to lower the brain's state of alertness, promoting a sense of satiety and inducing sleepiness. It's the biological signal that the cycle is complete and now it's time to rest. But the magic happens as a team. The other well-being hormones, oxytocin and endorphins, set the stage. They act like a balm for the nervous system, countering accumulated stress and promoting a deep sense of calm. They effectively clear anxiety, making it much easier for your body and mind to enter a state conducive to sleep. If you're the type who lies in bed with your brain racing, thinking about the day's problems or tomorrow's tasks, this hormonal combination can be a game changer. It acts like a natural pause button. So for those who struggle to relax, deal with restless nights, or suffer from insomnia, this can be an invaluable benefit. It's not just about sleeping more, but sleeping better, which directly leads to renewed energy and greater mental clarity the next day. 
Let's move to the third benefit, which is crucial for the vitality of your entire body, improved circulation through vasodilation. Think of your circulatory system as a complex irrigation system that brings life to every corner of your body. The daily practice of male climax helps keep this system running smoothly. The scientific term for what happens is vasodilation, which simply means your blood vessels temporarily widen. And how is this activated? During moments of intimacy and at the climax, your heart rate increases. Your heart works a bit harder, pumping a greater volume of blood through all your internal highways. The effect is like opening the floodgates of an irrigation system. This increased flow not only delivers more water, blood, but also helps keep the channels, vessels, flexible and unclogged. This process of expansion and contraction helps maintain arterial elasticity, a cornerstone of cardiovascular health. And what are the long-term benefits of this maintenance? Optimized blood circulation means oxygen and vital nutrients reach every cell in your body more efficiently. This has a positive impact on everything from your mental clarity to your skin health and muscle recovery. Over the years, maintaining this vascular flexibility can be a key factor in heart health and may even help regulate blood pressure. It's like performing regular preventive maintenance on the most important irrigation system you have, your own. The fourth benefit we'll explore is one that sparks a lot of interest and discussion. The link between climax frequency and prostate health. This is a serious area of research that seeks to understand how our habits can activate the body's natural defense mechanisms. And what does cutting edge science tell us? The strongest evidence comes from a study considered the gold standard for its scale and duration. Conducted by Harvard University, it followed over 30,000 male health professionals for nearly two decades. The results published in the prestigious journal European Urology were striking. They found that men with a higher ejaculatory frequency, in the study the highest frequency group reported 21 or more times per month, had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men with much lower frequency. The leading scientific theory to explain this is the prostate cleansing hypothesis. Think of it this way. With each release, the prostate clears out secretions. This ongoing process prevents the buildup of fluids and substances that over time could undergo unwanted cellular changes. It's a way to keep the gland clean and healthy. While no single habit is a guaranteed cure or prevention, this finding positions regular frequency as an important piece in the puzzle of long-term prostate health. But what exactly is the scientific theory behind this connection? How can the act of male climax influence prostate health? The most widely accepted and studied explanation is known as the prostate cleansing hypothesis. Think of the prostate as a gland that's constantly producing fluids. The prevailing theory suggests that regular ejaculation acts as a natural cleansing or flushing mechanism. With each release, the prostate expels these accumulated fluids. And why does this matter? Because within these fluids, substances that aren't beneficial in the long term can build up like byproducts of cellular metabolism and potential inflammatory agents. Additionally, older cells, which are naturally part of the body's renewal cycle, are also cleared out in this process. If these elements remain in the prostate for too long without this regular cleansing, they could theoretically create an environment that favors harmful cellular changes. It's critical to understand that this isn't a definitive guarantee of prevention. Prostate health depends on multiple factors, including genetics, diet, and lifestyle. However, this evidence offers compelling insight that regular, frequent ejaculation can indeed play an important protective role, helping keep the prostate gland healthier over the years. Our fifth benefit might surprise you the potential to strengthen your body's defense walls, meaning your immune system. It's true that instinctively, no one thinks of boosting immunity through pleasure, but science is starting to show an interesting connection. Let's understand how this works. The first link is the increase in an antibody called immunoglobulin A, IgA. Think of your body as a castle, IgA are the sentinels stationed at the entry points, your nose, mouth, and lungs. They're the first line of defense that identifies and neutralizes invaders like viruses and bacteria before they can enter and cause trouble. 
Studies suggest that regular sexual activity can increase the number of these sentinels, but the connection doesn't stop there. There's also a crucial indirect factor, stress management. Chronic stress is like an internal saboteur that creates breaches in your castle's walls. It releases the hormone cortisol, which in excess suppresses your immune cells activity, leaving the gates open to infections. The deep relaxation and release of well-being hormones during climax directly counter this effect, helping to close those breaches. So, by helping reduce daily stress, this regular practice can indirectly support a stronger, more battle-ready immune system. Now that we've covered the many positives, health is about balance. So, for a complete analysis, we need to look at the other side of the scale and discuss the points of caution. The first potential issue is psychological, the risk of a healthy habit turning into a compulsion. It's critical to make this distinction. Think of it this way, who's in charge, you or the urge? A healthy, enjoyable habit is like driving a car. You're in control, you decide when and where to go, and you enjoy the ride. If you practice daily male climax and it doesn't negatively affect any other area of your life, you're likely firmly in the driver's seat. However, the situation changes when the car seems to drive itself. What happens if this habit becomes your top priority? If you start feeling an overwhelming, uncontrollable need to practice it every day to the point where it interferes with your work, relationships, or daily responsibilities, that's a clear sign you may have moved to the passenger seat. This is what characterizes compulsive behavior, the feeling of losing control. The act stops being a conscious choice and becomes a perceived need, an urge you feel compelled to obey. The consequences go beyond lost time. This can lead to deep feelings of guilt and shame, and it's often a sign that something deeper, on an emotional level, needs to be explored and addressed. The second point of caution is for men in a specific life stage, trying to conceive a child. Daily practice can impact fertility, specifically by reducing sperm concentration. To understand why, let's use an analogy. Think of your body as a highly specialized factory producing sperm. Like any factory, it has a production and maturation timeline to ensure the final product is of the highest quality and quantity. Science shows that this full cycle takes, on average, about 72 hours or three days. When male climax happens every day, the factory simply doesn't have enough time to restock and ensure each batch comes out at maximum capacity. The result? Each ejaculation will have a lower volume and sperm count. For most men, in a general health context, this isn't a major concern. However, in the specific scenario where you and your partner are actively trying to conceive, every sperm counts. In this case, Daily climax could indeed reduce the overall chances of success. The solution here is strategic. Spacing out releases by two or three days can help ensure that, at the right moment, sperm concentration is at its peak, increasing the likelihood of fertilization. The third and final point of caution is one of the most important and may be directly tied to issues like difficulty prolonging the act and other performance challenges. The core issue here is conditioning. This is especially true if the daily habit involves very quick, goal-focused, solo stimulation. If you get used to rushing to the climax as fast as possible, you're essentially training your body and brain for a 100-meter sprint. You become highly efficient at reaching the finish line quickly. However, intimacy with a partner is rarely a sprint. It's much more like a marathon. It requires pace, endurance, and the ability to enjoy the journey. The problem is that this conditioning for speed, learned in solo practice, can be very hard to unlearn during partnered moments. Often, this quick reflex translates into difficulty controlling the climax during intimacy, which can be frustrating for both partners. But conditioning for speed is just the beginning of the story. Unfortunately, this can trigger what we call the domino effect of performance anxiety. When a man starts noticing that he's reaching climax faster than he'd like during intimacy, it's natural to start worrying about it. The next time, he enters the intimate moment not just to feel pleasure, but with an anxious thought in the back of his mind. Will it happen again? I need to last longer. And that's where the destructive cycle begins. 
What's the consequence of this constant worry? Performance anxiety is one of the biggest enemies of healthy male function. The brain, which should be focused on pleasure and connection, becomes overloaded with fear and pressure. In many cases, this anxiety can contribute to what we call psychological erectile difficulty. The fear of failing or underperforming becomes so intense that it sabotages the body's natural response, making it hard to achieve or maintain a firm erection. Now I want to pause here. I know that for many men watching, hearing about these issues can be incredibly frustrating. Talking about lack of control or erectile difficulties can touch on sensitive spots and even bring up feelings of shame. I want you to know that these are extremely common struggles. Millions of men worldwide go through this, and the search for a real, lasting solution can often feel like a lonely, overwhelming journey. Now, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Which of these three benefits surprised you the most, or which one will you start practicing today? If you have any questions, this is the place to ask. I read and respond as much as I can, personally, and let me know which city or country you're following me from. I love having that connection with you. If this video brought value to you, the best way to thank me is by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our next videos on men's health. And last, but perhaps most important, please share this video. Send it to a friend, a brother, your father, or your son. Quality information like this, shared at the right time, can literally make a difference in someone's life. Until the next video, and always remember, your health is your most precious asset. Take care.